All right. We are going to get the three runes, five charms, three paintings, one safe and one blueprint on the golden cat level. The first charm is here in a high up building in Bottle Alley. There's an assassin here, so deal with him as you see fit. A neat way is to blink behind him while he's kneeling down on this balcony and then choke him out. Turn around, smash down this wood, these bits of wood. Uh, they're holding in a weeper, so be careful of him. Uh, take him out however you can. I thought I might be able to let him sneak past here, but he sees me, unfortunately. Uh, then walk in here, and just on the table is bone charm number one. Then we're going to grab bone charm number two. This is in an alley underneath Holger Square. Uh, you can uh, go in here. You can also get it when you come with Emily through the VIP entrance from the Golden Cap. But the reason I'm grabbing it now is because I also want to grab a key nearby. Anyway, take out Rags. Uh, don't take out Rags. Go see Rags and grab the Bone Charm next time. Then head back out into the alley. Uh, take a right. And then right up these stairs here. And you'll see a couple of guards harassing a woman. Deal with the guards however you see fit. I put sleep darts in them. And then speak to this woman who will reward you with a key to her employer's house. Which is a strange reward however you look at it. But who am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? Once you've uh, got the key from her, it's time to go and see Slackjaw, and on the way you will find this area. You can either possess a rat and sneak under the door, or blink up there, if you've got advanced blink. There you can grab a blueprint uh, for incendiary bolts, and also the distillery reserve key, which will open up a couple of areas. Uh, then go see Slackjaw, and pick up a mission to find out what happened to his best man, Crowley. And on the way out, uh, you will find a bone charm here. Now it's better to get it now rather than earlier because the weepers will have actually broken out and they'll be running around the yard so you can snag it safely without having to kill anything. Uh, they're out there in the yard and the guys may go and attack them. Uh, regardless of how you get out there, you might want to sneak out. It's time to head to Dr. Galvani's office. When you find out Crow's, Crowley's fate, uh, you will also find a rune nearby and this is rune number one and it's where the rat viscera was. So grab that rune. And then it's back to see Slackjaw. Slackjaw will thank you for uh, giving you giving him the message about Crowley, and he will give you a mission to go and get the combination of a, uh, the safe in the art dealer's house. And he will also importantly give you the captain's chair hotel key, which is going to let you get bone charm number four. Now, uh, this is the way to the Captain's Chair Hotel, it's through the square, and there's a tower there that you might want to take out. But however you clear this area, get into the uh, hotel, and then straight ahead, under the stairs, on the way to the Golden Cat, is Bone Charm number four. Now, you don't actually have to kill the art dealer, uh, or you don't have to use Crowley's method if you don't want to, but you do need to get the combination of it. Anyway, once inside the Golden Cat, uh, head up into this area here, climb up, and you will find room number two on a box just inside here. Then it's into the Golden Cat uh, and up the stairs to floor number one for room number three. Sorry, I'm from England. We have ground floor and then the first floor above it, if that's confused you. Uh, but anyway, there's the room just on a wall. Easy to grab. Watch out, there'll be guards everywhere here. Then you want to turn around. Uh, we're going to go for a bone charm. You want to blink up here through this door for which you'll need the Golden Cat Master Key, which you can get off the madam who you'll find wandering around, she's usually in her room, and grab Bone Charm number 5. Once you've got this Bone Charm, uh, don't forget that chest which has got a lot of valuables in it. Head up to the dormitories where you save Emily. But in the first door, you'll find a uh, hooker who's a uh, courtesan, I should say, who's looking around her stuff, and the fourth room. So grab that before you save Emily. Uh, then grab her and head back out. Uh, don't head out. You want to go and get the safe combination. And the way to get that is up here. And it's quite near to the room that we just got. But you drop into this room here and you'll see him on an electric chair. He's waiting to be electrocuted and punished. He's been a naughty man with dark tastes. Anyway, you pull this lever a few times and eventually he'll say, What do you want? Who are you? Ask for the combination of the safe, which he'll give to you. Uh, I think it's 138. Um, and if you continue to electrocute him, he eventually passes out. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't give any more information. And again, you don't have to then go back. But uh, once you've got that combination, 
Um, go see the shopkeeper, who will be where he was when he saved him last time, and enter the art dealer's apartment. There's four uh, thugs in here, so watch out for them, they'll attack you on sight. But you want to head up the stairs here, and dead ahead is the first Solokov painting. So grab that off the wall for 300 coins, then turn around, then it's up the stairs again. And you will see the safe directly in front of you here, but we'll come to that in a second. So turn around, take a right, and a right again through this door, and there is the second painting, another 300 coins. And then it's off with the safe. The combination is 138. So open uh, the safe, walk in, and you will find the last painting and the last rune. And you're all done. Congratulations. Lots of love. Bye.